we need to be around more people who serve God. When you are trying to serve God, when you have been serving God, you need more and more encouragement while you are serving God. Because while or if you are trying to attempt to serve God, so many things are being thrown at you. So many. This is why it is best to be around people who actually serves God. Because if you are trying to serve God, why would you try to find an encouragement to do the right thing around people who aren't serving God? Why are you seeking the advice from others to do the right thing when they aren't serving God? If a person is not serving God, aren't they going to advise you of things that are contrary to God. So, it is no surprise that some people are finding reasons to not serve God. Because look at their company. Whoever you hang with, your mentality is going to change to that. Listen. One good way to know how you are, I just have to look at your company. <laughs> that is one good way. You can try to hide who you are or your feelings and stuff like that. All I have to do is look at who you hang with. And I know to a certain extent that is how you are as well. I am telling you. Just look at your company because I know for myself, I am not going to hang with drug dealers or people who smoke weed or drink and stuff like that. Why? Because I don't fit in. I don't feel comfortable being around those people. So let me not say that. <laughs> let me not say that. Anyways. You need to be around people who serves God. Because by doing that, listen, there is a person that I can speak to about God for hours. For hours. And we speak about God and our supernatural experiences as well. And by doing that, I believe that we draw encouragement from that. More motivation to push on. I want to talk about a second reason why it is important to be around real Christians, real servants of God. Protection. No matter how strong you are in God, you need protection. You need more Christians to back you up. Let's say that there is 20 demons in a group. Is it easier for those 20 demons to attack 20 Christians or other individual Christians who choose to be alone. You can agree with me that it would be much easier to attack those individual Christians. So even if you are at a level 80, there is no point in going on the battlefield attacking 1,000 enemies when you can join with other people, real Christians, 
so that you can have people to back you up. Why get so many wounds and scars and injuries when you can have other people to pray with you and read the Bible with you and do more things of God with you? You are better and stronger in a group of like-minded people. Key word, like-minded people who serves God. Not this lukewarm stuff. So I pray that this makes sense. So we need protection and we need encouragement. No matter how strong you are in God, and while I am saying this, I am guilty of this because sometimes I choose to not be around other Christians. And you may say, well, there aren't too many people who serve God. That may be true, but we need to be actively trying to join with other believers or real servants of God. So protection and encouragement. You really do need encouragement, no matter how smart or wise you are, you need encouragement, believe me. So let me stop here. God bless you.